Hello and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. I was woken up at an ungodly time this morning. But then I got to witness a whole slew of messages on Twitter regarding Andy's latest scheme. I wonder how much money Andy Signor and Stuff the Alternate has raised for their stalker slash harassment campaign against ousted British royalty Harry and Meghan. As much as he raised to hire a lawyer to go after supposed age bots, our private investigator to look into a young age fan on Twitter, um, or X, I mean, perhaps it's more like the quote unquote boozy bucks they cashed in on, on the coattails of Nate the lawyer's lawsuit against Christopher Boozy. Backstory here, when Signor jumped on the f hashtag Free Britney bandwagon, I believe he began to figure out how to make himself look like a good guy to the outside world while pestering women within his community with constant requests to watch him pleasure himself or engage in sexual activities with his now wife. Moving on to cover Gabby Petito, then the Depp v. Heard trial, he garnered more praise and sympathy that perhaps cloaked his sex pest ways even further. After wringing every last drop from his Depp coverage, he turned his attention to Megan and Harry. His cohort, um, I mean co-host, Steph the Alter Nerd, was already covering this topic on her own channel. However, Andy not only took over, he created a whole new channel called Popcorn Palace, which already has over half the number of subscribers as Steph does. Then again, I heard that she was made a co-owner of his flagship channel, Popcorn Planet, so perhaps it really is just all about the money and cover for Andy to continue preying on women, allegedly. One of their mods, Juan, Wancho, opined that this renting a bus to follow Megan and Harry around is just a gag. Is it though? Andy and stuff spent hours telling outraged folks that they consulted an attorney on this action. Did Andy and or Steph put him up to this post? I think it's likely as most of their crew don't seem to make a move without quote unquote parental approval. Seems like Lewis's nerd report is stuck at about 50k, his Kim is at about half that, and Wancho, who never has been listed as far as I know, um, but I do believe his 12 year old channel finally reached 1,000 subscribers. Um, back to the topic at hand though. Using funds to rent a bus in California to stalk and harass Meghan and Harry. With Andy in Florida and Steph in the UK, this is a logistical nightmare that can only be cured by raising a lot of funds. Will their fans fully subsidize this? Well, they helped Andy buy a new house, outfit a new studio, stuff to move and furnish her apartment and her own studio, so it's probable. I know they've lost more than a few of their biggest contributors over the last couple of years or so, but as, as P.T. Barnum is credited with saying, there is a sucker board every minute. As I'm not a South Park fan, it took a bit to percolate through my brain, helped by a friend on Twitter, that this idea of this bus is entirely ripped off from Season 26, Episode 2, The Worldwide Privacy Tour, whose synopsis reads, After being attacked by the Canadian media, the Prince of Canada and his wife find themselves in South Park after embarking on a tour in an effort to find some privacy and seclusion. If they actually go through with this venture, will we see jail time for the participants? Well, California has some pretty harsh anti-stalking laws, so I can only hope. I know, that's mean, but... 
personally, I believe it's just a cash grab, but I guess we shall see. Is this pop culture justice? Oh, and is it just me, or does Andy seem to resemble that scary Burger King guy? 